then let's take him out. A void Move. has been annihilated. This way. We require more vesting gas. Kill this. Kill this. Not sure when I'll have time to get my army over to it. Eat it. See? It goes down easier. Still, maybe if I had a hybrid that had low health left. You know, maybe that would be easier. Knob it. Yeah. Enemy drop pods incoming. I always love to hit it like right here. Oh, that worked surprisingly well. Sort of the you know the protoss drops were a lot easier to fight than these ones. These not that these are difficult, just there's like two zealots. Yeah, that's an important thing to know. It's based on the amount of life the enemy has when killed. That doesn't mean like, oh, they're only on 10% life. It's like, if the enemy only has one life, then, you know. Maybe I actually seem to wait a second. But, you know, if the, Ain't nothing to it. if the enemy has a max of 100 or is reduced to 100, it's going to be the same amount of reduction. Terrible coming up with like examples and simulates and shit. I'm just I'm horrific at it. Eat it. Do it.
Eat it. How to grab zero goings? You're so goddamn small. Ultras. We require more vesting gas. Preparations are nearly complete, Manners. Defend the temple. Right, let's just grab this. this off first. Eat it. In 20 seconds. Move. The hive cluster is under attack. Our forces are under attack. Eat. Eat. Our allies base is threatened. Do, do, do. The Void Thrasher defeated. Over here. Have met the enemy in hybrid signature detected. Kill. I will eat. I Here, uh, hydrants. Should have queued that up already. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. The hive cluster is under Drop it. Or not. Our allies' base is threatened. We can defend our own base for a bit. Do an for the moment. Ah, they're already engaging this. Eh. Can't actually give allies money. Done. Go back. Do it. Rise, primal worm. Our allies face is Ah, good, you're here. Eat it. Just eat it. Our God, you're not gonna repair your supply depot? Okay. That might mean they get they get evicted here. Oh no. Time up. By evicted, I mean I think you get booted if you lose your main, your last base building. It's where that happened previously. There we go. Uh, no achievements. Um, I think the hackers are more stuff you have to work to over time. Fair jump up here. I was that, or I haven't checked in a while. So, um, next. Our 
Thomas. We could do Artanis and Dead of Night. We'll guarantee pretty much a ten. What units do you get? Mm, mobile detector. Immortals, Archons, High Templar, Dragoons, Zealots, Phoenixes, Reavers, and Tempests. And Photon Cannons. You can warp units into battlefield almost instantly. Uh, there's Guardian Shield. Mm, that's useful. Superior Warp Gates. Gives Warp Gates three charges instead of just one. So instead of five minions from five warp gates, you get fifteen. So uh, it's whirlwind and boost the life of dragoons and shield regen, and allows them to use shield regen in combat. Reavers. Makes High Templars better. Gives Archons the ability of, abilities of High Templar. Allows you to, you know, use Warp Gate research at Stargates and robotics facilities, which is very useful. Boosts up Reavers. There's the Solar Bombardment. Phoenix can, Phoenixes can lift two targets at once. Unlock the Tempest Disintegration ability, which does 500 damage to a target or structure over 20 seconds. Increased amount of damage absorbed by the shield overcharge from 100 to 2. Then the Sore Onslaught, which increases the number of shots fired during the Sword Bombardment from 200 to 400, so it doubles it. Angora de Dalam increases the substarting supply to 200 from, you know, like 12. They can kind of just throw that at, well, never mind. I was going to say, you know, throw that at Protoss because they still need to build pylons for buildings. But then again, they throw that at the Haka and he has to, well, I suppose they handicap him insofar as that all his buildings also, like any unit producing building, also requires supply, so yeah. What am I missing on uh, you again? Nearly halfway through with this. I'm over halfway through with ye. I think I'm going to do one more mission, then I'm going to go record something else. Uh, I can play a bit more of you. Need to get Havocs for detection. I really like playing Alarak alongside Simon because Simon puts down his beacons all over the map and even when they're downed you can still empower them. It's beautiful.
Oh yeah, it's the whole supplicants thing. Yeah, yeah. No matter where I go, the Hakka seems to fall. Okay, can't use that yet, can't use that yet. This is very much a long term teal. And I'm almost halfway done this. Unlikely that I'll gain much progress here. This corner is typically more sheltered for an expansion than this is. We've seen attacks come in here, but not for the south. So it's unlikely that I'll actually gain um, any progress here. A waste of essence. Also, I've seen like people were saying before that apparently uh, Blizzard stopped using Cerberus in StarCraft 2 because of the whole Tyranid thing in um, you know, Warhammer. I'm trying to play nice with Games Workshop. Hmm? Oh, the Hakka wandered over there. I'm trying to play nice with Games Workshop. Apparently, the Hydra model was changed for the same reason. An enemy attack moves towards our base. Oh, most unwise. I love how he says that. Um, apparently, the Hydra model was changed for the same reason. Your allies are in battle. Uh, but the issue there was that the Tyranids that were similar to the Hydra came after the Hydra. Uh, the after Hydraisk. So it's like a about to not sure how true that is. It's just something I saw on the Discord I'm in. Shortly. But uh, that'll be frustrating. Okay, do it here. Do it here. Okay, maybe I went two balls deep there, but it's not like I'm gonna get much use out of it. But yeah, apparently that's true. I don't know if it is true, but apparently it is. Oh, my eyes are stinging like hell. Okay. Okay, I'm sending a bot to collect the geysers, Terrazine. Don't let it get destroyed. Enemies are headed for my bots! What a bunch of jerks! Uh, Ar Protoss Armada Classic. Scouts, Corsairs, Carriers, and Arbiters. Gossing, commonly found Gossing and tar uh, entire planets prior to the First Great War. They wouldn't have Corsairs with them. Corsairs were a Natrazim thing. The other one's Gossing Planets was the, you know, Ire Protoss. These guys. And, um, even then, I'm not sure if they were commonly doing it, you know? There was Chausara, but that was it, as far as I knew. This is nice. I would like to get that.